Savannah. Boop. My beautiful Maine Coon, who shall be living with me in the van. I have had her from an itty bitty baby kitten to a full grown joyous ball of fluff. She loves cuddles under the covers and she has been my sidekick for the last seven years through some pretty trying times. She's beautiful, but don't let her cuteness fool you. She can be ferocious at times. So why am I talking about my cat? Because in this episode, we will be using the bench that we've built to create a poo palace for Savannah, where her litter tray shall be housed and I shall have access to it. To start with, we have to cover the loose wires that are in there so she does not claw away at them and ruin all the hard work Dad has done. So we box that off. Like that. Can't get to it then. Fantastic. Brilliant. Now that is Savannah's litter tray all boxed off. Piece on the left to stop her getting access to the wires. A little cover at the back to stop the wires again and then another one up the left hand side. All of them have just been screwed on so we can pull them off if needs to be and we need access to the electrics. So now we need to create the front piece which has a little hole like that for Savannah to get through. Pops is just having to move back the inverter ever so slightly. Since we've popped that plug in, um, it sticks out so we can't open this mechanism on the bench very well. Ooh. So Pops is just moving it back a touch and uh, that will sort the issue. I bought a butt hinge and a double ball catch. So just a catch and a couple of hinges with the idea that this gap was going to be a open and close hatch instead of a slidey hatch. Now we obviously changed plan with it and these have been sat there for several months doing nothing. Dad has just <laughs> very gladly said, well, if we put a front on this for Savannah, how are you going to get the litter tray out? And uh, I was like, that's a very good question. I hadn't thought of that. So what we're going to do is make the piece of play on the top, lift up using these pieces which were otherwise going to go to waste so that's lucky that fits in place and it's going to drop down forwards on the hinges so what dad suggested is actually if we just undo all of these pull this frame out and take it out and work on it outside because it's just too complicated and too fiddly in here And then we moved on to the hinges. So we marked where we wanted them. And then dad, using a chisel and a hammer, chiseled out a little bit of space so they would sit flush with the wood and not poke out a bit. When we came to this point, however, we realized that the ply was far too flimsy to hold the hinge. So we added a little bit of a wooden batten on the bottom for stability. Okay, so we've just miscalculated ever so slightly and it doesn't fall all the way to the floor. So we're gonna have to just move these up ever so slightly. But other than that, I think that looks really cute. Yeah, it will go like that once we've sorted it out. So just a bit of tweaking. So when we first marked out where the hinges were going, we'd only done it with the ply. That's why it wasn't completely falling to the floor. So we just had to go up six mil the length of the ply again basically so dad just marked out a bit more with the chisel and then we screwdrivered those back in place and while he'd been doing that I was also cutting a bit of a triangle piece I'll show you that later does it work <laughs> perfect perfect Whee. Good. yeah that looks really good so you're gonna need two you're gonna need magnets. two things yeah two magnets we added on one of the gold handles so it matched the kitchen meanwhile i had added on the l shape at the back doors just to finish off that cladding before we go back to the bulkhead so this is the last piece that needs to go above the bulkhead and what dad has just suggested is putting in some led lights either side 
of here, which is covering this section at the top here. However, now I've carpeted it, it's so very dark, you can't see anything. So what we had done is set this up for a water sensor. However, with that tank, we're not using the water sensor now. So what dad's gonna do is use this switch here, come off the lights, bring the wiring back up here, and that's why we're working out the LEDs now. We had previously bought a roll of LED lights, which we'd used in the shower room and in the bed compartment. So we cut a little bit more of those off and they were sticky on the back so they stuck to the ply. Dad then used his soldering iron to attach the wiring before very neatly putting all the wires through the tie wrap holders. Which left it looking like this and then he finished off the other side. While Dad's sorting out that wiring, I have got rid of the green because I hate it, it's going. I'm going to try pink on there instead. Done another coat on there. <laughs> that looks cute. And uh, painted this new little bit we've put in as well. That triangle piece that I mentioned earlier. When I was working on the bulkhead and I put the top piece in place, I realised that this triangle, which was black down the right hand side, just looked odd. The other side is going to be carpeted, so it's not an issue, but we needed to fill this side in. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah, that just looks a lot neater, won't it? Yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> Fantastic. Beautiful. Right, so we just need it in position. That's, that's yeah. it there. So you just, you... Yep. <gasps> Everything, all of my poor carpeting skills. Yes, I can see it all. <laughs> Perfect. Wow. All the way to the edges and all the way to the back. Brilliant. Thank you very much. We have a pink to test. I'm gonna just do, I've gone over white again. I'm just gonna do a little bit. I bought two tester pots this time to not waste another 30 quid on a color I don't like. So um, I'll give that a go, see what that looks like. What is it? Sakai. Yes, 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 yes. 10,000 times yes. That is the one. That's the colour. It's staying. It's make me really happy. Yay! Pink! Decision made. The next wee little job we're doing is to sort out or finish off the edge of this, for which we have more of this free stuff. We've created one for the top and one to go down the side, so we'll just, we've measured it all out now and uh, Dad's going to draw that in. The other side down here, Dad is going to do through the week because he's going to go see a friend that has a, a what? Um, a, a, a saw table so we can get it perfectly Perfectly straight, straight. because this is only a small thin bit it's and the just, jigsaw just wouldn't work well, no, would it? No, we wouldn't get it. And the handsaw, probably, but we've got my friend in. Yeah. We'll do it perfectly. So. Yeah. So next we're going to, we've... we've Fitted the poo palace as you've seen, but it has yet to be um, held up. So what we've got is, is a wee little magnet. Boop. Which should hold it. Which should hold it. So that's going to fit under here. We're going to add another bit of ply on here and then glue it and attach it to the back of there. So when it shuts, it, um, it stays magnetised up. Yeah. And the reason we're adding the ply in is that these screws yeah, they're a bit... Would go through one layer of ply, but they won't go through two layers of ply. Yeah, so, so this is only one layer of ply. We have to put another one on the back so we can screw on the magnet. Yeah. <laughs> and this is six kilo pull, so... Yeah, we will, should be plenty. We'll just go and make, get a little bit of a little bit of ply to cover this, and then we can we can screw and glue it on, and it, it'll be fine. And you need a bit of off-cut somewhere. Oh, we've got loads of off-cut. Yeah. More awkward positions to be had while Dad drilled that in place and then we added a bit of glue on as well before we put the magnet back on the other side of the ply just for a little bit more security. And there we have it. One fabulous poo palace for my fabulous cat. Plenty of room for activities in there for her and before you ask, no it won't smell, I've got very good litter. <laughs> 
hope you've enjoyed this ode to my beautiful Savannah. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.